What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Gambit issue number 5. This will be the final issue. As we have been following the adventures of Remy and Ro, we currently find ourselves in Alabama with Gambit most recently taking on Bounty. The two of them coming to an agreement that as long as they are on Earth, they are off limits. But Marissa DeCastro, she was recently blindsided by Sol getting a knife directly to her chest. She is left there bleeding on the ground because Solars, he has found himself some new allies, some intergalactic bounty hunters that have been chasing Lilla. And so now it all comes down to this. Now, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you like this video. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. All right, gang. So our story is starting off with Remy and Bounty having a drink together, making his new friend, he is super excited because the two of them fighting, it was one heck of a fight. But now they have come to an agreement. While they are having a drink, both Ro and Gabriella, the mother of Marissa, they are out looking for Marissa. Not sure where she ran off to. The last they had seen her, she went looking for Remy. What they don't understand is that these bounty hunters have already caught up to her. A bounty hunter by the name of Bonehead, a mechanical like bounty hunter. He is taking Marissa into his mechanical body and he is about to devour her as his own fuel. With this concert getting well underway, with Gabriella and Ro finding Bounty and Remy, they can hear Marissa screaming. They don't know where she is, but they are going to go look for Bounty. She very much understands the scream that she heard. It is a scream made by the prey of the bounty hunter known as Bonehead. The trio bounty hunters, Bonehead, Tsunami and Cannabird. She lets Gambit know that these are individuals you don't want to tangle with. By the time they get on scene, it is looking like it is almost too late. With only Marissa's head popping out the top of Bonehead, he is slowly but surely integrating her body into his own. Now for Gambit, he very much was falling for this girl, bringing her into this world, bringing her into everything that he has going on. He knows that this is something he is very much going to regret, but he is about to enact some vengeance. With Bounty letting Gambit know that the transition isn't complete and it might be possible to save Marissa. With the fight getting well underway, with Marissa, her eye being plucked out by a mechanical arm, it is sucking the very life force out of her body. And the bounty hunter known as Tsunami, trying to hold back both Storm and Gabriella, we see the two of them washed away in salt water, with Gabriella sacrificing herself, letting Ro make her escape. Ro reaches out to her ancestor, trying to figure out what to do here. The ancestor letting her know that she has done all the training she needs. She knows how to fight this. She taught them both how to win. Because we have seen Gabriella also learning from the ancestor. We see Gabriella reach up to the sky, being imbued with the power of the ancestors. The lightning comes down, and Gabriella has stolen the power of Tsunami. Stolen her power and her armory. With Gambit going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bonehead, the mechanical monster is just too powerful. Gambit knows that brute force isn't going to work here. And so what he does does, it works on the weak spots, works on the joints, because this is a robot. At the end of the day, it is all mechanical, which means it can have a mechanical air if he hits it in the right spots. But we see more and more that Marissa is slowly dying, being taken over, being turned into a weapon, with Bounty throwing Cannabird in the projectile way. We see Cannabird be hit by Bonehead, and Bonehead, this is when he takes off towards Lilla, recognizing that this might not be a good situation, that they might lose this fight. He wants to go for the bounty that they came for, because Lilla is the true prize here. Meanwhile, inside the mind of Bonehead and Marissa, we see Marissa fighting back, with Lilla playing her music as loud and as hard as she can, trying to distract all of the actual concert goers from what is going on. We have Gambit who is trying to take down Bonehead, while the 
psychic battle of Bonehead and Marissa is also ongoing, taking him down on two fronts. We see Gambit able to disable one of the arms, Marissa slowly gaining control over the body of Bonehead. She fights like she has always done. The two of them together are able to overpower Bonehead, the machine lying down on the ground, and Marissa's body looking as if it is pretty much fully decayed at this point, barely even holding on to life. Bounty lets them know that nobody, nobody has ever beaten these bounty hunters before, much less done what Gabriella has accomplished. Coming away from this battle with Tsunami's armor and weaponry, Lila letting it be known that she is not even sure if it is possible to set things right for Marissa. But the place to start, it is across the stars. There are no guarantees considered the ultimate long shot, but Lila is willing to take her there and see if it is even possible to save her life. And while Gambit would love to go with her, in fact, he even says that he is going with her, there is no question about it. Marissa lets it be known that Ro needs you. She cannot be left here all by herself. That Marissa is a marine and she can take care of herself. Ro is nothing more than a child. One that needs guidance. One that needs the Cajun. They both know it, even if it's not fair. As the two of them embrace one another, as they say their last goodbyes, we pick up much later. We learn that Solars had been taken by Bounty. He is going to be staying in an off-world prison. That, of course, is if he survives the first night. Rose saying that if everything she saw is what love is like, then she is going to stay clear of it as long as she possibly can. But she also says that she's sorry for everything that did happen. As she begins to tease Remy, they plot their next adventure because she has some old business to finish. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I really do think this was fun for what it is. It's just a classic Storm and Gambit kind of mess around. Seeing their adventures, seeing what they did back in the day, being introduced to some new and old characters alike. It really does highlight the relationship that these two have had for such a very long time. And it also highlights how just good-hearted Gambit is at the very center of of who he is. That even being a thief, even being a gambler, all of these things, at the end of the day, he is a hero. There is no question about it. That he does what is right. You could even consider him a Robin Hood. I will be honest, I'm not very sure how Marissa's subconscious was able to take down Bonehead. It doesn't really explain any of that except that she took over control. And I'm also not very sure on Gabriella's connection to to Rose ancestors, but she was able to learn from them. She was able to use powers and abilities that she never had previously, so much so that she was able to take over more or less Tsunami as a whole, taking her armor and taking her weaponry. It would be very interesting to see if Chris Claremont is going to expand on everything that he just created. I know me personally, I would love to see Lilla, Marissa, and Gabriella out in the the stars to see what shenanigans they might get into and see what is in store for them next. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get caught up on everything going on in the entirety of this mini series, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything that happened in Gambit. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership, much like Patreon having five different tiers from one dollar to fifty dollars from loyalty badges to getting free comics every single month not only would you be helping out the channel tremendously you would be getting tons of perks in the process now if you are unable to do this do me a favor subscribe to the channel like this video hit that notification bell and with that being said until the next breakdown